Now this question has been uh, sent by a student in Australia. The question reads like this. Find the equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c uh, of the height of a slope parabola when the equations of the sides of the parabola are these. So I have uh, used my graphic calculator to draw these uh, lines. So this is the equation of y is equal to 24x plus 76.15. That is this equation. So your y-intercept is going to be 24, 27.15. This is the equation of y is equal to 24x minus 72. So these two lines are parallel. So these two are parallel. Same way these two are parallel. And the most important point is this. These two lines, that is this line and this line, are intersecting at 3 comma 0. So the question is you want to find the equation of the height in terms of y is equal to mx plus c. Now the graph though these lines seems to be parallel the height would not look like when you're dropping a height it seems to be outside whereas in fact it is inside. So b before I graph it so if I drop a height from this point, so let me show how I got 3 comma 0, the point of intersection of this line and this line, uh, sorry, this line, that is y is equal to minus x minus 3, and this line is 3 comma 0. So how can we get this algebraically? And then I'll show it on a graphic calculator. So we are saying this equation of this line is minus x minus 5, and the equation of this line is 24x minus 72. So for the point of intersection, we can say, well, the y's have to be equal. So I can say minus, or oh, let me write 24x minus 72 is equal to minus x minus 3. I'm setting both the equations. The so y coordinate is equal, so that's this y, or this y is equal to this y. So bringing the x's on one side, so this is 24x plus x is 72 this goes or adding 72 to both sides this will be 72 minus 72 minus 3 okay okay so this equation sorry this is plus this is plus 3 i was wondering how can this the this y coordinate is this is 3 yeah Okay, so this, I should change this to plus 3. So this will also be plus 3. So this is 25x is equal to 75. So dividing both sides by 25, I can say x is equal to 3. So if x is equal to 3, I can use one of the equation, y is equal to what? y is equal to minus x plus 3. So if I put this in this equation, you can say y is equal to 0. So the point of intersection of these two lines is 3 comma 0. So let me show this on a calculator. Uh, let me delete this. So I would also delete this. So this is 24x minus 72 and this is minus x plus 3. So these are the two points of intersection. And if you go G solve and intersection, 3 comma 0. Okay. So now, if you drop a perpendicular, uh, the, the perpendicular would be, the, this doesn't look like a perpendicular, but uh, let me draw it. So this is, say, the height, because, okay, let me not draw it, that will confuse you. So I can say, if two lines are perpendicular, the gradient, the product of the gradients is equal to negative 1. So if say this is the perpendicular whatever that suppose this is the perpendicular doesn't look like perpendicular the gradient of this line and the product of the gradient of this line and this line should be negative one that's a uh, that's one rule that you need to know so let me call the equation of this line is equal to y is equal to say mx plus c Okay, mx plus c. So if the equation of this line is mx plus c and the gradient of this line is negative 1, I can say m 
times negative 1 should be negative 1. The product of gradient of this line and this line should be negative 1. Okay. So what can I say? That means m is equal to 1 or negative m is equal to negative 1 dividing both sides by say negative 1. I can say the gradient of that perpendicular line should be 1. So the equation of this line becomes y is equal to 1x plus c or you can say x plus c. But this line is passing through 3 comma 0. We can say well x is 3, y is 0 because this perpendicular line is passing through 3 comma 0. So I can put this in this equation so I can say 0 is equal to 3 plus c which implies taking away 3 from both sides c is equal to negative c. Okay, so this equation is the equation of the uh, height or perpendicular would be y is equal to x minus 3. Just like that. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. So if you type in, uh, if you type in uh, x minus 3, you can see it doesn't look like a height, but this is a perpendicular to this line, which was, let me write that equation, type the minus x minus 15.52. Hopefully you can see that. So in y4, let me type in minus x minus 15.52 so that you can, yeah, so this is, these two lines are parallel and this is the line that is across and this, though it doesn't look like a perpendicular, this, the gradient of this line is 1 and the gradient of this line is negative 1. So the product of gradient is negative 1. So this line is perpendicular to this, though it doesn't look like because the you have to adjust the pixel perfectly to see that this line is perpendicular to this line. Hopefully this video has been helpful.